-huh. It's disrespectful. This is the first time I'm hearing people that claim to be of, of the people of the book scared of the word of the book. It's all the rest. Of, hey, you will say that to the children of God. Yeah, because that's who you are. I'm the devil. I'm the devil. What? Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Okay, you said that you're from Germany, right? I'm pretty sure. When, uh, I wish I wish you wasn't. Hey, you should wish that. You should wish that. I'm saying you should very much okay, wish that. This is very insulting. How is it insulting? I'm a daughter of Holocaust survivors. Okay, that's good. And what you're doing uh -huh. is disrespectful okay. to my mother who was in a concentration camp. Okay. My father Let who was in the war. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. This right here, not only insulting, it's very disrespectful to take. Uh, you say you of the Holocaust. That means you're Jewish. To violence. Your other tribes, your other fellow white folks, you finally sit and provide those books to you carry that back. You have so no idea what to you're doing. My father, the slave trade. My father, Good. Step back, step my back. My father came you, from you, you, a family. Listen, that's Corona. Step back. Brothers, step back. That's Corona. Eleven brothers. I don't know if you take your shots. That's very disrespectful to, to finance the the the, the slave ships. And put the children of God murdered. in slavery. Yes, yes. Just as guilty yes. as all the rest of your brothers. Good. Okay? Hey, you will say that to the children of God. Yeah, because that's who you are. You Good. are of your father, the devil. Good. Read yes. that again. Don't thou exalt thyself as the eagle. Who exalt themselves as the eagle? The Caucasian race. Good. Whether they call themselves, uh, uh, you are, uh, let me see, French Caucasian. German Caucasian, Jewish Caucasian, American Caucasian, they're all the same people. Bring That's right. Read. Read. And Say don't. Again. I no, I'm still, I I'm still answering your questions. You answered it already. So the thing is, the thing is, uh, go to verse 18. You got to know this. There's something that you must know. Like, for example, God warned the children of Israel if we did not keep the commandments. This would have happened. And we disobey him and that happened. In the same way, Esau, which you are children of, Esau and the Edomites, God also tell you what your fate is. So so you can go home and sleep uh, and have a sound sleep. You should know what the future holds for you. Read that. Verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. The house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame. The house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Esau for stubble. God say your house will be for uh, stubble. And they shall kindle on them. You shall and kindle on them. That, that's what the nuclear fire. Go ahead. And devour them. You will be devoured. God, just like it says in the Bible, God will send the children of Israel to finish the job. Read that again. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. So now it's for somebody that said as a descendant of a holocaust, whatever. Should you be mad whatever. when the Bible's re re uh, being read? How are you going to be mad at a, at, a, at a book that you claim to be yours? You should be happy. Right. Read the future Read. of that person whatever. from And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. Uh -huh. And the house of Joseph a flame. Uh -huh. And the house of Esau for stubble. Read. And they shall kindle in them. Uh -huh. And devour them. Uh -huh. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. You hear what God said? You hear what God said? God said there will not be any of you left. Right. Don't be mad at the word of God. The Lord has spoken it. Right. You should be Jeez. happy that the Lord telling you what your future is. The last verse. Verse 21. And saviors shall come up of Mount Zion. So saviors, the, that's the children of Israel, the elect, shall come out of what? On Mount Zion. Come on Mount Zion. To judge the Mount of Esau. The, so the, the my people will judge your people, read. And the kingdom shall be the Lord. You hear that? 
until you know what he said? Until you guys are judged for all the crime that you have committed on the planet. Right? He said, after you are judged for all the crime that's committed by you and your ancestors on the planet, when that is done, the kingdom will be the Lord. Okay? Some of you are going to come around with that lie that Esau does not exist. I know I'm not living in heaven. Let's get out of heaven because God said when, when his kingdom established 100% after you pay for your crime, there will not be any of you left. That's what the Bible says. Can I be mad at what's written? I can't be mad at what's written. This is the first time I'm hearing people that claim to be of, of the people of the book scared of the word of the book. Isn't that some hypocrisy? Bring it out. Give me Revelation 2 or 9. You know, for the for the people that say that they're descendant of Jacob. Read that. This is what God said. God said we got imposters here. Imposters that, that committed the great of identity theft on the planet. You know, some people will pretend to be some someone and steal your credit card, so on and so forth. You have a whole race whose identity was stripped, stolen. And you have imposters living saying that they are us. Read that. Revelation chapter 2, say. verse 9. Yeah. I know thy works. God said he knows the works of the children of Israel. And tribulation. And the tribulation. And poverty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The children of God are in what? And poverty. They're in poverty. The, your people are not in poverty. They own half of Jersey City. Bring it out. Not the whole city. And they own all the backs. Go ahead. But thou art rich. But we are rich. Why? Because all the promises in the Bible been to the children of Israel. Read. And I know the blasphemy. God said he knows the blasphemy. Of them, of which, them which say they are Jews. The blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. And are not. And are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. God said this is who you are. You are of the chief house of the devil. Bring it That's out. what God right. says. You are, the, you are the synagogue of Satan. I don't have no synagogue. Who got synagogue all over the place? God said those people are of the synagogue of Satan. Bring it out. That's the Bible. Read. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, uh -huh. but thou art rich. Give me three nine. Give me three nine. Revelation chapter three verse nine. Uh -huh. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. God said He will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, who lie to say they are Jews, and are not. They are not. But do lie. But what he says? But do lie. Did you hear the word lie come out the Bible? Read it again. Go Behold. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. I will make them. All everybody that hear God's words, today go come here and reveal who they are. Read God's word. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. That's the Bible. Which say they are Jews. They say they are Jews. And are not. God say what? And are not. God said they are not. But do lie. God said they are liars. Behold, I will make them. God said, Christ said, when I come back, I will make them what? I will, behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. God, Christ said, I will make them bow down before your feet. And to know that I have loved thee. And to know that Christ only loved the, the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Give me 10. Give me Revelation 13 10. Listen. Everybody always come and say, it is very unfortunate because some people won't kill other people, but they want you to feel sorry for the murder between nation against the same nation fighting each other. Right? They kill one another. And then the, the biggest crime against humanity that ever happened, they tell you, forget about it. We're not forgetting about it. God order us not to forget about it. Look, give me that. Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. They hate the book of Revelation. That's why they hate Christ. Read. He that leadeth into captivity. Christ said, the one that lead into captivity shall go into captivity. Shall go. Open that. He that, read again. Read again. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into 
into captivity. God said, the one that takes you into slavery will go into slavery. That's what captivity is, read on. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. He, the one that kill you with the sword with weapons, they will also be killed. Here is the patience. This is, this is the patience. And the faith. And the faith of the saints. The saints of God are waiting for justice. That's, right. That's all it is. So people, whatever they hear that you are, you are bringing to, you are bringing to, to, to memory the crime they've committed, committed and never pray for it. So everybody here that lost someone to gun violence or whatever crime it is, even if you were robbed, you want justice. So you're talking about a whole nation, a whole nation that was destroyed be, be, behind, beyond recognition and they say forget about it. You just think it's in specs, do not worry about that. You're not human. As a matter of fact, they even go as far as writing it in their constitution that you are three-fifths of a man. Bring it out. So you just <laughs> cattle. That's what they call you, Goyim. That's what they call you. They call us Goyim, right? right? So now God said those same people that you see as nothing. But among us, some of us still believe that they are nothing. That's the reason why they walk around and don't even worry about what's being taught out the Bible. And they all claim to be Christians. Read that again. Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. Bring it out. He that lead him into captivity. You don't, you, you, don't, you don't have to hide your camera, man. We see your camera. You can put that there. Don't hide it. We see your camera. Not hiding nothing. Are you hiding it? Go ahead, read it again. He that lead him into captivity uh -huh. shall go into captivity. You hear that, my man? It said, it, who led the so-called black and Hispanic into captivity? I'm saying who? Wasn't me. What nation was it? What race? What race? Yes, you guys did it. We, come on. Who? The, which, the Jews of the Bible? Were you there? Uh, the Jews of the Bible? Uh, the Caucasian race? They did that. The, every nation. Let me show you that. Give me Luke. Every nation did. Luke 21, 24. In Egypt. Stop lying. Stop lying. You can you can never tell the I truth. I wasn't there, but that's what yes, you never did. tells us. You never did. You weren't there. Read that again. The book of St. Luke, chapter 21, verse You're 24. Uh -huh. And they Anywhere shall fall by the edge of the sword. If your people went into Egypt, you said they were the ones slaves in Egypt, right? What color are the real Egyptians? What color of the real Egyptians? Shut up. What color of the real Egyptians? History tells us. See? They never tell the truth to save their life. I know. What color were the real Egyptians? Black. 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 So how did Moses that y'all say white was fast for Pharaoh's grandchild? Come on, stop the lie. Read me what you got. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. God said the children of Israel shall fall by the edge of the sword. And shall be led away captive. They shall be led away captive. And so all when was your people led captive into all nations? You are. I'm not going to fight. Speak your lies. Everybody is watching. Speak your lies. Okay. <laughs> you, can, you can get to step it. Because you, can, you claim something, you cannot back it up. Read it again. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. God says that the children of Israel shall fall by the edge of the sword. When did that happen? 70 AD. By. But the Romans, the Romans encircled Jerusalem with their special Italian. Are you going to move your for example? He's a racist. The, the, the Brooklyn Bridge. Hey man, what do you see? Hey the Ark of Christ. All called the Ark of Titus. That was that represents victory over the children of Israel. Read it again. And, so, and they shall they fall by the edge of the sword. God shall fall. Shall what? Fall away. Shall away. Shall away. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. He fell by the edge of the sword because when Rome came to come and attack Jerusalem, we fell victim. Nation is family.
Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with 